following is a Shaw TV special presentation. You are looking at a shot of Brantford and 6th Street here in New Westminster for the 46th annual Hayek Parade. Hi, I'm Samantha Cito. Thank you for watching Shaw TV. And joining me is my co-host, David Lyle. How's it going? It's going great, Samantha. So, yep. David, you are the artistic director at the Hayek Festival Association. You're also an accomplished musician, actor, and director. Wow, you got a lot on your plate. Yes, we've had a great time this year uh, coming up with the First Nations, First Cities theme. Yep. And uh, we're going to represent that today in our parade. We have 105 entrants with our parade today, and it should be an exciting family event. Yes, for sure. So it's not only David and myself. We also have our roving reporter, Scott Aceman, who's in the center of the action. Over to you, Scott. Hey, guys, we're out in the parade today, the Hayek Festival Parade. It's very exciting. We're going to have lots of cool things coming by, the police, the fire trucks, and hopefully an interview with Jonathan Cote. Back to Sam and Dave. Thanks so much, Scott. We are so excited. Scott is in the center of the action. He's going to be talking to all the people who are waiting very, very patiently for the parade to begin. So let's talk a little bit about the Hayek Parade. What does Hayek mean? Well, Hayek means go fast in the Hokuim language. And it's really a, a name that's synonymous with New Westminster. If New Westminster wasn't called New Westminster, it would be called Hayek. <laughs> yes. You can't have one without the other, am I right? No, all our sports teams are called Hayek. There's many businesses in New Westminster that are named after Hayek. And Hayek, like I said, is synonymous with New Westminster. Yep. So the Hayek Parade, it's not just the Hayek Parade, am I right? It's, um, it's a longer celebration than that. Yes, we have a, a, a festival that lasts all of May. and includes uh, the Hayek Anvil Battery, which celebrates the birthday of Queen Victoria. And we have our May Day, which is the longest running May Day in the Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. And so we were talking a little bit just now, David. How long and how many times have you been to the Hayek Parade? Oh, I've lived in New Westminster for 40 years, so I've attended at least 40 parades of New Westminster, and it's great to be here hosting it today. Yeah, but you've been here for so many, so many parades, and um, what are you most excited about this parade? Well, my favorites are always the marching bands and the baton twirling and, like, everybody always getting out. And one of my favorites is the... Is the uh, police drill team, oh. which is going to be up first. So I'm always excited to see Harley Davidson's rolling down the road at full yes, speed. Yes, yes. Yes, the people who keep us safe. And um, um, it's always a lot of fun to watch, am I right? Yes, they represent us very well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So how lucky are we with the sunshine today? Oh, it's great. Last year, it was a terrible rainstorm. And the big joke around uh, the uh, the ambassadors and with the, uh, with the association was handing out the rain jackets this year, which unfortunately we won't need. We need some sunshade, though. Yeah, totally. All right. It looks like the parade is about to begin. Wow. Here comes our first entry. Yeah, we have... The Vancouver Police Motorcycle Drill Team seems to be starting off the Hayek Parade. It's great, you can see uh, there's a huge crowd already gathering around the street. Oh, everyone's <laughs> set with their hats and... Uh, <laughs> Some young <That's> children. <laughs> yes, that is the best thing about, about the sunshine. Everyone comes out and have happy faces on. Out of the 40 years that you've um, been coming to the parade, David, has it been this hot? No, I can't remember a day when it's been this warm, but yeah. it certainly is a, a, a nice time to have some good weather. Yes, definitely. Okay. First up, we have the New Westminster Fire and Rescue. This entourage of attending fire trucks are the latest trucks in the pride of New Westminster Fire and Rescue Services fleet of the frontline apparatus. Everyone's just 
getting ready to begin. See some fire trucks there as well. Oh, that's a really cool retro car. I believe that is coming right up, the new Westminster Fire and Rescue. Yes, that is Chief Jones is going to be riding in his 1947 Nash model 4760. It was originally purchased from the factory with a special police options in 1946 by the BC Provincial Police, but never saw a service before they disbanded in 1950. Yeah, you can see them waving a little bit just now. Right now we have the new Westminster Fire and Rescue Services. I don't know about you, but I've always had a fascination with uh, fire trucks. Oh, I, I, I can remember having a little fire truck as a kid. I think all kids love fire trucks. Yeah, for sure. Beautiful day, too. Just waving at all the um, spectators. And now we can see the Royal, Royal Westminster Regiment. And it's the band of the no Royal Westminster Regiment, and it's the second oldest military band in Canada and has been performing in New Westminster since 1858. Wow, yes. And this is an award-winning volunteer band too, right, David? Yes, it is, and it performs all the, at all the regimental military events and numerous parades, and here we can hear them now. Mm -hmm, let's enjoy the music. Oh, right now we see the Army, Navy, and Air Force veterans in Canada. Give them a wave. They look so happy. Yes, they, <laughs> they hold the distinction of being the oldest veterans organization in Canada. Amazing. Coming out right behind them. You have the Navy League of Canada, New Westminster branch that supports the 102nd Royal Canadian Sea Cadet Corps. Yes, these units provide uh, completely are provided completely free for youth ages 9 to 18 years old. Yeah, the you can see a lot of them are, are pretty young. Yes, the programs included are leadership development, citizenship, first aid, drill and marksmanship. Wow. So these guys are actually out of town and they're hosted by the um, Royal Canadian Sea Cadet Corps and the Navy League of Canada at their Anasis Island Training Center. I believe they're from New Zealand. What a cool exchange trip, don't you think? That is great. I know you said you love drums, David. There's a lot of drumming going on. Yes. <laughs> Sounds like firecrackers. Yes. I believe now we have the Hornet Squadron. It's 513 and it's open for youths aged 12 to 18. The cadets are providing training for aviation-related subjects, leadership, survival, sports, and community services. Mm-hmm, and they meet weekly on Wednesday evenings. I, I love the boat. I think it's cool. You know, the best thing about these parades, David, is that it brings together everyone from different ages, you know, just to celebrate to celebrate um, the heritage and the culture that New Westminster has. Yes, it's a real community event. Yeah, perfect. Once again, there's no cost to join these cadets. And there's no cost for the uniform, and there's no cost for the activities or the summer camps. And it sure feels like summer right now. <laughs> Certainly does. Uh, 
Now our next uh, entry here is our Parade Marshal, and it's our honorary Parade Marshal, LaRonda Larrabee, and she became of her heritage only in her 20s. She researched about the history of her people and eventually became chief of the Kikite Nation. Kikite is pronounced Kikite, and it means resting place. Thanks to Chief Rhonda Larrabee, the future looks promising for Kikite First Nation and the generations to come. Thank you so much, David. What would I do without you? You are a wealth of information. Right, coming up, we see the new Westminster Pipe Band. This is under the direction of Pipe Major Mark Mike Carpenter. The band actually consists of totally filled of volunteers and has been in existence as New Westminster's very own community pipe band since 1991. A lot of smiling faces around. And now we have Colonel Karen Baker McGrady, and she is the honorary colonel of the Westminster Regiment. She was appointed by the Minister of National Defense in 2006 and has served in the military for the past 11 years. <laughs> colonel Baker McGrady is well known for her many volunteer community roles, including the newest Mr. Police Board, numerous charitable events, and foundations. Mm -hmm. We also see Emily Judy Darcy coming up in a little car right now. She is a member of the Legislative Assembly for New Westminster, and Judy is a strong voice for New Westminster in Victoria and in the community. You can actually see Judy at the Uptown Street Fest on Belmont Street after the parade. We Scott has an interview. Today. It's uh, just a beautiful day for a parade. Now, is there anything that you want to reach out to with all uh, the people in your, your riding and your city? Any, any message that you'd like to, to get out today? Well, I just say uh, we're, we're heading into the summer season and uh, festival season in the city of New West and, and just come out and enjoy everything uh, in, in our community. It's a, it's a wonderful time in, in the city of New Westminster. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, Mayor of New Westminster, Jonathan Cote. Thank you so much, Scott. How great it is that we managed to speak to the Mayor Jonathan Cote. He was actually first elected mayor in November 2014 and has served the community of New Westminster City Council since 2005. So he is riding in now with his wife, Alex, and their daughters, Renee, Leah, and Violet. Coming up next, we can see Hayak President David Brett. David Brett has lived in Newest Mister with his wife and Hayak First Lady Lorraine Brett since 1994 and raised three boys in the Royal City. David has been involved in the local community over the years. Because he believes that Canada involves all of us, he has included our First Peoples this year. President Brett chose this year's bold theme, reflecting the unique past of Newest Mister while resonating with the history of the entire Pacific Northwest. Mm -hmm. And you know, you know David personally, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. All right, rolling up, we see some waves and we see a crown. It's Miss New Westminster. So the Miss New Westminster of 2017 is Lauren Vanak, sponsored by Key West Ford. So the new Westminster's Hayek Ambassador's Mandate is serving our community, representing our city. And Lauren and her Hayek team have been volunteering extensively here at home and bringing Royal City Greetings communities around BC and the Pacific Northwest. So there's also a scholarship program that all the Hayek Ambassadors receive a post-secondary scholarship at the end of their ambassadorial year and remain as Ambassador alumni, continuing their service and volunteerism within the Royal City. Thank you so much, Lauren and ladies. And now we see the newest Mr. Hayek float. This float is, represented the, is representing the Hayek Festival Association. Oh man, we are just, look at those dresses, David. 
You this, helped you helped um, decorate this floor, didn't you? This is in fact true. I was the artistic director along with Bill Finn and Patrick Natral who did the art. And it's decorated by our own Glenbrook School and Kakite School. The paddles are in the upright traditional position awaiting permission to approach lands we visit while attending parades and festivals throughout BC and the Pacific Northwest. That is amazing. You and your team did a fantastic job. Right now rolling up, we have our Hayek Festival past presidents. So it's also very important to celebrate the history of New Westminster and it can't function without great leaders. So we have our past presidents, Elena McIntyre, Helen Bondner, and Susan Sayer, who went beyond their call of duty to make the Hayek Festival a great event for the community. Lots of joyful waves. I love his outfit. <laughs> Right now we see, and coming up, we have Prime Minister Jim Stahl and his wife, the Royal Rosarian First Lady Janine. So fun story, Jim joined the Royal Rosarians in 2007 and was knighted under the rose Mr. Lincoln. Both Jim and Janine has led a delegation of Rosarians to Switzerland and Germany to visit the Swiss Alps and cruise down the Rhine River to Amsterdam this past year. And now we're seeing the Honorable Guard. The mm -hmm. Society of the Office of the Honorable Guard is a civilian ceremonial guard based in New Westminster. They wear the Maple Leaf Tartan, which is Canada's national tartan, which was created for Canada's centennial in 1967. Wow. Right now we see the Hayek Hospitality Shuttle Service filled with children. <laughs> it is in fact our May Queen Suite. Mm -hmm. And we'd like to introduce our 146th May Queen, Zoe Bishop, and her royal consort, Trey Sidhu, from the Kikite Elementary with their royal suites. Also introducing to you for the last time in the 19, 20, 2016 <laughs> retiring May Queen and royal knights. What a great ride down 6th Street, don't you agree? There they are in their traditional outfits. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about um, the outfit. You mentioned it was a traditional outfit? Yes, yes. They've, they've been wearing those since the very beginning. And all the kids are very excited to be wearing their traditional outfits. Mm -hmm. I see a bear coming up. We have the Hayak football team. Just walk by us, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, do you hear this music? Let's listen in. This would be the Autumn Leaf Festival. Yes, you are right, David, the Autumn Leaf Festival. You're invited to uh, explore the enchanting wonders of nature. We have the 2017 Royal Lady Cindy Hassinger. And she is joined by her Autumn Leaf Ambassadors. On your next village visit, you'll have 300 days of sunshine and family fun and a mountain of memories. So what are you waiting for? Oh, I see Saperton Day Street Festival walking by. Yes, join us for the 2017 Sapperton Day Street Festival hosted by the Sapperton Business right, Association. All right, so we're going to go on a quick break, but stay tuned because we have more coming from the 46th Annual Hike Festival Parade.
Bill Reed Gallery is celebrating the Lifetime Achievement Award recipients of the BC Creative Achievement Awards for First Nations Art in their new feature exhibition, Hee Hun Get Zum, running April 5th to September 5th. Presented annually by the BC Achievement Foundation, the awards recently celebrated their first decade of excellence. For more information about this exhibition and the Bill Reed Gallery, visit billreedgallery.ca. For more information and videos about the artists, visit bcachievement.com forward slash First Nations Art. It's where you live. Shaw TV, your local voice. Welcome back to the 46th annual Hayek Parade. We're here in New Westminster watching the parade go by. I think that was just the Royal City Musical Theatre Company. Oh, it looks like our roving reporter Scott Aisman has an interview to you, Scott. Wider. A smaller bike. Whoop! See, I almost ran into you right there. It's just a bit wider. That's all. But all right. Have a, a have a great day. We just saw a banana go by, Dave. Yes, we did. And these are all our entries from the Caps Bicycles of Sapperton, newest mister. Caps has been in a royal city and an entrant for many, many years. Oh, I see Scott running after. I think, I believe that is a corn. Yes. <laughs> Scott is doing a great job. He's just right there in the action. What do you call those bicycles, David? Oh. A unicycle? I think we'll get the train. I forget what those ones are called. <laughs> you know, the big front wheel? Yeah. The, the penny the farthing. Yes. There we go. It's a hard name to say. Penny, penny farthing. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like our roving reporter, Scott, has yeah. another interview. Never too old. None of us clowns are over the age of nine. <laughs> is that a fact? It allows us, we add our double digits together, so thus we always keep the heart of the child alive inside of us. Smile to you, my friend. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it. Looks like Scott is having a fantastic time. Yeah. Loving the bubbles. Oh, we can see the Roosevelt Rough Rider marching band now. Let's listen to the band. Mm -hmm. the Seattle's Roosevelt High School and their motto is music, marching and madness. song, David. Name the song. <laughs> <laughs> that was the Rough Rider, I believe. <laughs> so here we have Jen Gonier, the 2017 Commandant. Hi, Jen. And now we can see uh, our Royal City Musical Theatre Company. Joining us today from the Kit Kat Club Cabaret is the talented Sally Bowles, along with the ever-charming MC. 
Royal City Musical Theatre is proud to present their 29th annual Spring Music Candor and Ebbs Cabaret at the Massey Theatre, April 2018. I would love to watch a show there. Looks like a lot of fun. Now we Coming have up, we have Douglas College, and here comes Rory. That's Douglas College's own lion mascot. You can see the lion on the banner over there. So Douglas College is offering 150 summer camps in the upcoming months of July and August. Yes, they have a ton of exciting programs for children 5 through 15, from sports to media and fine arts to computer programming, you name it. Mm -hmm, I see. I think we see the mascot coming up over there. Oh, there's Rory now. There is Rory. You know, David, I wonder how hot he feels in that suit. Well, I doubt he feels <laughs> anything. He's probably just covered in sweat. <laughs> <laughs> and over to our roving reporter, Scott Aceman. He seems to have an interview. And what's your favorite part of a parade? My favorite part of the parade is that there's a lot of fun things and fun animals. I think a lion just went by us. Did you see the lion? Yeah. Okay, well, you guys have a great day, and thanks for coming out to the Hayek Festival. Thank you. Thank you, too. So cute. So cute. Thank you so much, Scott. We hear the music. And this is putting on the Ritz. Capital Lake Fair is celebrating 60 years. Let's listen in. <laughs> Riding on the float, you have Margaret Doyle, Princess Ava Breckenbury, and Princess El Hirotaka. Don't you love those moves, David? I do. Love the music and the energy. Now we have our police services from New Westminster and the prevention services. The community van is driven by New Westminster police volunteers to assist in keeping the community safe. Mm -hmm. The Hummer H2 was provided to the New Westminster Police Department through the provincial government's civil forfeiture program, which continues to undermine the profit motive behind gang activity and by taking away the proceeds of crime. It was actually designed by a 12-year-old New Westminster student, Christian Dudley. Do you know that? Cool. Now coming up, we have Mount Spokane High School from Washington. Another marching band. Let's listen in. Yes, under the direction of Mr. James Lehman, please welcome the Spokane High School Marching Band and Color Guard. Those drums, I like it. I know, I was just gonna say. When I was younger, I wanted to play the drums. Didn't get to it, unfortunately. <laughs> well, I'm sure you banged a drum at some time. <laughs> sure it was your hands on your school desk. <laughs> Fire in the hole. So, right now, we are looking at the ancient free and accepted Masons who have been a presence in New Westminster since 1861. I think they went with a pirate theme this year. Here's our Freemasons now.
Here come the, the ancient Freemasons and accepted Masons who've been a presence in our wonderful royal city since 1861. Its members come from all walks of life and religious affiliations and ethnicities. This year, the Freemasons worldwide are celebrating their 300th anniversary as Freemasonry's first Grand Lodge was founded in London, England in 1717. Mm. And they're known for making good men better. That's their tagline, aren't they? The Freemasonry also supports many charities. The program operates in the Lower Mainland, South Vancouver Island, and the Okanagan, parts of Northern BC. Freemasons do not recruit potential members. Their motto is to be one. Ask oh, I one. see Jobs Daughters coming up. So what are Jobs Daughters, David? Well, Jobs Daughters, they're a non-profit group that has provided a fabulous environment for girls to self-develop and gain self-esteem and organization skills along with planning and public speaking skills while they navigate their teenage years. Amazing. I believe this song is from Carrie Underwood. <laughs> Be confident indeed. And coming up, we have Marysville Strawberry Festival, and they welcome you to Once Upon a Berry. On the float, we see Queen Sarah, Princess Denise, Princess Harmon, and they all invite you to join them at the Market in the Park, which features delicious strawberry shortcake. Oh my god, I love strawberry shortcake, David. Yes, I love cake. <laughs> yes, I love cake as well. <laughs> If you're interested, the Marysville Strawberry Festival is happening on the third week in June. And I believe Scott Aceman has an interview. Over to you, Scott. Congratulations. Thank you. Coming up, we have the Rotary Royal City Rotary Club, a proud sponsor of the PBAB for New Westminster and the community in New West. Oh, here comes another marching band. Mm -hmm. University High School Marching Band from Spokane Valley, Washington. Let's listen in. That's some upbeat music. That is some upbeat music. I'm dancing in my chair. Oh, look at those drums. <laughs> those drums. Bring back memories for you? Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, and here's our entry from the War Amps, the Toronto War Amps. The Play Safe, Drive Safe float appears in the parade with the message, Mean Machine. Spot the danger before you play. Mm -hmm. The War Amps have seen the unfortunate results of accidents all too often and wants to remind both kids and adults to be safe. Mm. The float and play safe messages are examples of key tags at work. To date, more than 1.5 million sets of lost keys have been returned to their owners. And now we have Remax Advantage Realty celebrating Canada's 150th. It's actually New Westminster's number one real estate company and is very proud to be part of this community. Yes, and they do celebrate with glowing hearts. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see some traditional Chinese wear coming up. It's the New West Chinese Society. Wow, those are beautiful, colorful outfits. Yes, very colorful. 
See a lot of the traditional umbrellas. Oh, and there's a small participant in the parade. Looks like yes, he's I believe, sleeping. I believe he is sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> he's enjoying himself. He's enjoying himself just being wheeled, wheeled through the parade. Wow, look at the pretty colors. <laughs> very vibrant, very summer, David. Yeah. Coming up, we now see the city of Burnaby. Wow, look at that. The city of Burnaby is wow. celebrating its 125th birthday alongside Canada's 150th. The cultural icon of the RCMP has been matched up with Burnaby's eco sculpture. Mm -hmm. If you want to see this display, it will be at the Burnaby Vintage Museum every Tuesday this summer, followed by the musical ride on August 18th at Swangard Stadium. Yeah, please come out to view all the eco Ooh. sculpture throughout Burnaby this season. David, I see another marching band. Burnaby oh, North more Secondary. So the Burnaby North Vikings Marching Band consists of 70 students from grade 8 to 12. Yep, they participate in many parades throughout the Lower Mainland and sometimes travel to other parades outside the province. The band is excited to be part of the Hayak International Parade again this year. Mm -hmm, let's listen in. Yes, their band consists of approximately 70 students. Queens Park Preschool. Yes, now we see Queens Park Preschool since 1965 has been offering a play-based preschool program for three and four-year-olds. Yeah, joining us today are some of the amazing kids from the school. Give them a wave. For many, it's their first time in a parade. And this is the P Penticton Peach Festival. We have Queen Rebecca and Princess Brian and Rochelle inviting you to come to Penticton. So it's actually a August 9th to 13th Peach City event for endless fun. Peach I'm Festival liking those Penticton. peaches. <laughs> There's one hanging off the umbrella at the back. Yeah. Hmm. What do you call those kilts, David? The kilts. Oh, those are tartans. Tartans, okay. This is the KCDS Kids, mm -hmm. uh, the Dancers Society. They're under the direction of Miss Kathleen, and it's a nonprofit group that operates and encourages Highland dancers throughout the, with scholarships and bursaries and trips, traveled, and organized events. Mm -hmm. I think I see a leprechaun. I do. And he's with the Evos. Evo is a car sharing made for BC Drive Anywhere. Just pick up and drop off an Evo in the home zone. 
The 100% hybrid fleet comes with bike and ski racks, so you can enjoy everything BC has to offer. Amazing. Only pay for gas and what you use. Sixth Street is definitely filled with music and crowds, a lot of waving, a lot of energy. Yeah, and here we now see the Royal City Sister City Society. The Royal City Sister Society is the supporting organization of the official sister cityhood of the Queen's Arm City Philippines and newest Mr. Canada. <laughs> the idea of sisterhood was conceived in 1985 mm -hmm. and is a memorandum and agreement between the two cities which was signed on June 17, 1991. Mm -hmm. I'm just loving all the colors we see today. Oh. So vibrant. Oh, now we are looking at Festival Coquitlam. Wow. I think teddy bears are a theme today. I've been seeing a ton of them. So Festival Coquitlam is very proud to present their float that demonstrates the festivals and activities that take place in the city and also to celebrate Canada's 150th. So on the float, you see a large picnic basket and emphasizes the teddy bear picnic held every year in June. The rotating sign coming out of the basket lists many of the festival's events and activities. The large teddy bear at the rear represents our fishing derbies held in May and June. We hope you come on and enjoy the activities of our city. That is great. It's just a bear holding a bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I bet the kids are having such a great time. Oh, I can see our Scouts Canada. Mm -hmm. So here come the members of Scouts Canada. The 12 New Westminster Beavers Cubs, Scouts, and Ventures are joined today by other Scout groups from the Lower Mainland. Now, I don't know, were you a Scout in high school? I was never a Scout, but I know Scouts are all about having fun and mm -hmm. learning new skills, discovering new things and experiences. All the great things, right? <laughs> if you're interested in finding out more about how you can get involved, they've set up a camp this weekend right in Queens Park near the Baseball Diamond. Oh, that's really cool. Wow, look at all the representation from the scouts and wow. the enthusiasm. Hey, guys. Love the energy. <laughs> I can hear them saying, hi, mom, hi, dad. <laughs> that is amazing. Well, it's always, it's always good to learn how to tie a knot or light a fire. Definitely, and it's great that, you know, other cities are coming in to support. Oh, I believe I see North Surrey's marching band. Let's yeah, give it a listen. Yeah, we hear the music. I believe that's YMCA. I think so, yeah. Good job. You named the song, David. <laughs> hey. This I mean, you are a musician, too. North Surrey's <laughs> 27th year participating in the Hayak Parade, and they wouldn't miss it. Yep. More drums for you, David. I love those drums. <laughs> Great music coming up behind them. Oh, look at that. We see a fox. Vancouver Stealth. Mm -hmm. Vancouver Stealth is part of the National Lacrosse League. And did you know they have a professional dance team known as the Vancouver Stealth Bombshells? Well, the Bombshells are as well the fans' favorites, and the Bomber love supporting their team and look forward to any chance to interact with the community. There's Bomber right there. Hey, Bomber. <laughs> I think coming up, we have the new Westminster Youth Ambassador Society. 
And they're in a 1993 Mack fire truck provided by the New Westminster Firefighters Charitable Society just for today's parade. How great is that, David? Well, it's great. Riding in this historic fire truck are members of the New West Youth Society. Megan Connor, Ben Osborne, Julie Ruggenberg, Joel Thiessen, Gigi Whitaker, and John Wright. These teens work for the city and their sponsors by volunteering within the community in Metro Vancouver. Mm -hmm. I see bubbles everywhere. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. bubbles it's bubbles, the newest Mr. <laughs> Eagles. The Order of the Eagles. Oh, and a mini, what is it? A mini, can't see the actual instrument, but I hear I it. It's a trumpet. Now this is looking like the Salvation Army of New Westminster and their representation this year. The Salvation Army is represented by the 1950 truck, a symbol of their participation helping troops in times of war, providing coffee and donuts to the soldiers. Mm -hmm. And David, I think I see Sally Ann, girl. She's coming up. There's Sally Ann. There and she, she represents is. the Salvation Army, wearing her uniform and smiling and waving. Because that's what we need, right? A friendly smile to connect the community together. Smiling is contagious. It is contagious. So is laughing. <laughs> <laughs> now, it looks like we have something winning the Best Humor Award. It's looking, it's like Spirit of the Lake. I it's see Kelowna's the float lake. entry. The Spirit of the Lake parade was redesigned with the 216 with an emphasis of going back to a retro look of the past parade floats, also some native influence. The parade float showcases the legendary Ogopogo, Ogopogo. swimming through the waters of Okanagan Lake, as well as showing the green grass and beaches of Kelowna. Mm -hmm. On the back Ooh. of the float is the Okanagan Sunflower, which is official flower of Kelowna. Riding up along the float is current lady of the Ro Lake Royalty Ambassadors. Mm -hmm. Next up, I hear some cheering, that's David. Che that's the New West cheering and tumbling and parkour team. Look at those colors and that energy. Yes, sir. The Royal City cheer, tumbling, and parkour team are all star cheerleading, gymnastics, and tumbling. For toddlers, children, teens, and adults, located right across from the Braid Skytrain station. Gotta love the cheerleaders. I tried some tumbling when I was younger. It didn't work out very well for me. I, I usually <laughs> did that off my skateboard. <laughs> so right now we have the Khalsa Diwan Society, home of the Sikh youth. The Sikh temple, or the Gardwara, in Queensboro has been an important part of New Westminster community and strives to build stronger community relationships. The Gardwara is a place for acquiring spiritual knowledge and wisdom and is open to everyone, regardless of age, gender, caste, color, or creed. Here, all men, women, and children are treated as equal and all are invited to come by at any time. I really want to know what those cool spinning structures are. Yeah, that's like a hula hoop. Impressive. Once again, very colorful outfits. Very colorful, definitely amps up the energy. It really feels like summer, David. Is that purple or blue? We're here with Kathy. We're going to throw it to Scott. Hey, Scott, you have an interview? Yeah, we do. We're here with Kathy. Kathy has been to numerous Hayak Festival parades. Do how many? Well, probably 50. <laughs> wow. Okay, so why are you so connected to the community and this festival? Born and raised here. 
Very simple. Are you looking for any kind of special float today? Uh, my husband's driving. He's already passed by, so he said hello. But everybody, I know lots of people that are in the parade, and I just like to come and support the community. Oh, that's great. Thanks for coming out and doing this interview. Yeah. Appreciate it. Back to Sam and Dave. Thanks so much, Scott. It's great to see family members coming out to support as well. Definitely a very community-driven event. This looks like the Silver Diamond Country Dancers. The Silver Diamond Country Dancers are an energetic, fun dance team that loves to dance. Let's have a look and see. Oh, I want to dance too. Oh, it's some line dancing. Yeah. They perform at many parades, events, and fundraisers, and they welcome new members anytime. Now that's a, what do we call that? A two-step. I love the yes, look at that. Oh, here comes something that is that's a party near and dear to my there. heart. <laughs> it's the newest Mr. Salmon Bellies. The newest Mr. Salmon Bellies lacrosse club. I was a Salmon Belly once. Were you a Salmon I Belly? Was. Wow. Yeah, I was. Newest Mr. Salmon Bellies are entering their 128th season in, Nor in Newest Minster. They play Thursday nights at 7.30 at the historic Queens Park Arena from the middle of May till September. Mm -hmm. And if you want to cheer on your hometown bellies, as they call it, David, you can go and check them out during the 25th Man Cup Championship this year. You know, we always have a good chance at winning that Man Cup. And an interesting thing about the new Westminster uh, Arena is yes. that it's a wood floor. Really? Yeah, and I can remember running up and down that wood floor. You could hear those boards underneath your feet. And when you went down, it wasn't like hitting cement in an outdoor lacrosse box. Really? <laughs> There's a little little more cushion there with the wood. Wow, wow, we. Yeah, it's a great tradition. Look at all our young lacrosse team players here. It it teaches a lot of things: discipline, exercise, and teamwork. That is fantastic. Talking about salmon bellies. Next up, we have the Steveston Salmon Festival. <laughs> wow, it is it is the spirit of Steveston. This is a float um, in tribute to the historic fishing village of Steveson, founded over 125 years ago. I see their mascot. I think that's a salmon, don't you think? Yeah, his name's Sammy. Sammy the Salmon. Sammy the Salmon. <laughs> right, our roving porter Scott has an interview to you, Scott. Some adorable kids who just love parades. What's your name? What's your name? Cynthia. Cynthia, are you having a good time today? Yeah. yeah. Is there a favorite float or thing you want to see in the parade today? <laughs> I guess not. What did you say? That? You want to see that? Well, that's adorable. Perhaps you're a little bit shy. Back to Sam and Dave. <laughs> Thank you so much, Scott. That was adorable. I do agree. Now we have the Senior Services Society. The Senior Services Society has been supporting the independence and well-being of seniors in Newest Minster and across the Lower Mainland for over 25 years. Mm -hmm. We envision a community where seniors live with dignity in a safe, comfortable, and healthy home. Now we see the entrance of the Thornbridge Gardens Retirement Community, retirement living at its best. At its best, yes. Yes, the Thornbridge Gardens provides excellence in service and accommodations. Live life to the fullest with independence you want and the many services available to qualify and simplify your life and open up to new beginnings. Mm -hmm. And if you like to visit, you can head on over. They're located on the corner of 6th Street and 8th Avenue. All right, David, I think coming up, we have the Port of Vancouver. Yes, it's the Port of Vancouver's entry, and it's our largest port in Canada, responsible for Canada's trade with over 170 world economies. Mm -hmm. And they are responsible for the stewardship of the federal port lands in and around Vancouver. Yeah, 
Yes, it looks like an interesting cargo ship they have yes. there. Yes. I think heading up, we have the Lower Mainland Purpose Society. The Lower Mainland Purpose Society delivers a continuum of social, health, educational, and residential programs, providing service to approximately 2,000 children, youth, and families every year. Next up, we are seeing Falun Dafa Association of Vancouver. So Falun Dafa is also called Falun Gong. I hope I said this right, David. Well, I think you did. <laughs> and it's actually an ancient form of mind and body practice that originated in China. And now it's practiced in over 100 countries around the world. It is. Let's give a listen to their great band mm -hmm. of drums. Look at their beautiful float. Wow, look at those colored lilies there. I believe that is a lotus flower? Oh, a lotus, did you see? You know it. Falun Gong improves mental and physical health through four sets of gentle standing exercises and one in sitting meditation. It's based itself on the principles of truthfulness, compassion, and tolerance. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let's listen in. I hear some drums. Right behind them, we see the Western Command Military Vehicle As Historical Association. It's made of a large group of individuals throughout BC and Alberta who find, save, preserve, and restore former military vehicles. So yes. they are riding down on vintage military vehicles on tours throughout BC. And are also very supportive of local museums and in particular the Canadian Military Education Centre in Chilliwack. If you guys are interested, you can find them at Western Command MVHS on Facebook. Hey. <laughs> I think he wants us to turn around. Did you hear? No. And we'll see what we got here. Is and I think we have the Transit Museum Society right now, dedicated to the preservation of vehicles significant to the history of public transit. Wow, I remember those buses. Do you? Yeah, <laughs> it used to cost a dime. And I think that that, we are throwing it to Scott who has another interview. Hey, we're here with Logan. Logan, you've got a very blue lollipop. How's that tasting? Good. Are you excited about the parade? Yes. Is there anyone special in the Hayak Festival that, that you got to see and you're never going to forget it? Co a cop told me. Is it like cops? And did you see any special dancers out there today? Or anybody doing anything interesting that you really liked? Yes. 
Yeah, so one person did the thing for money. We like that he was swimming for me, making that you did. We like that music. That's very exciting. Well, we glad we're so glad you came out for the Hayek Festival, and now back to Sam and Dave. Thank you so much, Scott. That was again adorable. <laughs> so I think that um, that. The transit museum was the um, last float to that go That was the last the entry, yeah. Yeah, that was exciting to see that last bus. Yeah, you were. You sounded really excited I know. I by. remember my dad used to say, Davey, you want some silver to go on the bus? I'm like, silver? He's like, <laughs> coins, you know, they're dime. I'm like, wow, that is real silver. Yeah, it's great when you can connect um, personal stories to, um, to this parade. And I think that's why a lot of us came out here today of all ages to come and celebrate the, um, the theme for this year, which again, let's not forget, it's First Nations, um, First Cities, telling our story together. Yes, I think we did. I mean, it's been a great day, full of fun and adventure for all our participants. We had pers participants from all over the Pacific Northwest. Mm -hmm. and we all love New Westminster. Yes, we do. Um, I just want to say a big thank you to Cal Tire for their production support located at the corner of 6th Street and Brantford Street in New Westminster. And I also want to say a huge thank you to you, David, for um, being an amazing co-host today oh. and sharing all of your stories and information. And it was fantastic. It was great working with you. Thank you so much, Sam. It's been a, a, a Great pleasure. <laughs> we also want to say a thank you to our roving reporter, Scott Aceman, for some last words. Scott. I guess I guess Scott is, is um, enjoying the parade. Yes, talking to people. Yeah. <laughs> but we want to thank you again so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next year.